and we'll uh, we'll look back on the last two games from a, a personal perspective. You know, two starts. We'll go back to the Bradford game. You were called in with moments to spare. Just talk us through how your preparation changes for something like that when you're called upon very last minute. Well, obviously, I was aware that Max uh, obviously took a little knock against Newport, so in my mind, I was always mentally ready. So, and obviously, last minute, I got called upon. So, you've got to be ready for that type of thing as a footballer, because obviously, warm ups, you can get injured. So, does it change much from mentally preparing to sitting on the bench and maybe impacting the game later, or just going straight in? Um, yeah, definitely. Like, it, it is different, a lot different. Obviously, like the way you prepare yourself for the game, but you've got to be ready, like I said, and. Uh, wanting to, well obviously I've always wanted to play, start, so it was an opportunity for me to play. And then you made back-to-back -back league starts with uh, the trip to Exeter in the week, a clean sheet gives us a brilliant platform now to build on going into this weekend's game against Cambridge. Yeah, definitely, I think obviously we have needed a clean sheet for a while, we've been waiting a long time, so it was brilliant to get that, and I think Exeter away you'll always take a, a point, so it was a good result in the end. And like you say, they're uh, a very good side, league top goal scorer. So to shut them out twice this season, both home and away, that can only breed confidence into the side. Yeah, definitely. Like you said, it's like a confident builder because obviously they're the top goal scoring team in the league. So to shut them out twice, it's obviously a confidence boost and uh, hopefully we can take that into Cambridge this weekend. And Cambridge are going to prove to be another difficult side, but a side that haven't won at home in three games. They've lost the last two at home 1-0. Speaking of confidence builders, this could be a really good opportunity for the team, couldn't it? Yeah, definitely. It's all, you've got to see the next game as an opportunity to get three points and uh, we'll definitely be going there to get the three points off them. And I know they're flying high, but we see, we think, we obviously believe in ourselves that we can uh, beat them. So we've got to go there, be confident, especially off the back of a clean sheet. It's a good base to build off. So hopefully we can go there and get the three points. And you know, team. It, we mentioned it on a number of occasions in this division. Anybody can be anybody, and it's been shown with the teams that you know Scunthorpe have just gone to Cambridge and beat them one nil. Cheltenham obviously beat them one nil. It was a nil nil draw against um, Southend. It proves it. This could be another tight game, doesn't it? Yeah, I think from top to bottom, I think there's not much difference in it, and uh, every game's really, really tough. Like as you can tell, we when we uh, lost against South End, where they were flying really low, and we uh, were flying quite high at the time. But uh, obviously, um, it's one of them ones. It's a really close game against Cambridge. It's going to be fight. We're going to have to be willing to fight, and uh, hopefully, we can come back with the three points. It's a, a busy month for us, and I think we've got another six games, five away from home. We seem to be a little bit better suited uh, away from home just two losses on the road all season what do you think that is what do you think we seem to have picked up a, a little bit you know more form away from home um i'm not too sure really but uh i feel like it's an even play playing field really like because there's no fans in uh, it's just basically a pitch isn't it so you've got to go there and just be confident and hopefully we can um get the three points at the weekend again Personally, for yourself, you know, it must have been a, there's a, been a couple of frustrations along the road for you this season. You know, talk us through your, your overall thoughts on this campaign so far. Um, obviously, I'm happy to be back in and around it now, like playing a few games, and uh, obviously on the bench and that, it's a lot better than sitting obviously in the stands where where you obviously I'm unhappy there. But um, yeah, for a personal level, like, it's been up and down, but uh, I'm glad to be back in and around it now, and hopefully I can carry on. What's it been like working under Brian Dutton in a, in a new role for him as head coach? Because obviously you've worked with him for 18 months or so, but he's clearly got new ideas that are being implemented. What's it been like for you as a player? Yeah, so it's obviously a little bit different because uh, we've been used to having him as a coach, basically. But then now, obviously, he's the gaffer and um, he's took to it really well and he's um, he's confident in the way he plays and it suits us as a team. And I think... Um, if we carry on and obviously we need a little bit of time to gel to his style of play but um, yeah hopefully we can get some positive results for him because I think we deserve it. And you can see that there is a clear difference in play style under um, Brian as the new manager. What's it been like for you having to adapt to that you know has it been a big change for you? Um, yeah, it's been a big big change. He likes to get the ball out from the back. Well, and it varies on what type of pitches we play on. So, obviously, um, it's good. Everyone wants to play football out from the back, so everyone wants to play the pretty football. But um, 
So it's a little bit a little bit different, but we we're coming to get used to it, and we're starting to get patterns of play into our game, and hopefully we can Im implement that a bit more. And you mentioned there the pretty side of the game. We've seen that trying to come into our style of play, but we also showed that when we need to play ugly, we can, like uh, Tuesday, for example. Yeah, I think you've, you've got to take it as as it comes. Really, like it depends on obviously game scenarios change a lot within the thing within the game. So um, obviously when you um, playing out from the back, it's got to be right to do so. And teams are going to set up against us now to not let us play out from the back, and uh, press is high. So sometimes you've got to earn the respect and not get it in behind, and then hopefully they drop off and give you the space to play. Oh!